This is Mount Mabu, an isolated mountain that rises over 5,500 feet above sea level in Mozambique's remote north. Discovered only four years ago, Mount Mabu is home to the largest rainforest in southern Africa, and hidden in this forest are plants and animals completely unknown to science. The Darwin Initiative team, led by Dr. Julian Bayliss in partnership with Mozambique's Department of Agricultural Research, returned to Mount Mabu in June 2009 for their last research trip. Global Post joined the expedition and brings you this report. They're doing a, a good job there. We've still got to repair this bit behind us. But uh, I think we'll get across. We've got to dig the sand away so we can get the cars through. I'm surprised how much water there is in the river there. Um, well, at the moment we're on the top of Mount Marbu in northern Mozambique, looking down over uh, the Marbu forest. What is so special about Marbu is, is just opportunistically collecting uh, the animals that I come across in the forest. Um, it's what, what, is most, what is remarkable is, is, is a high majority of these are turning out to be new um, species. We have found a new one of these uh, from Mount Namuli. I came here specifically because, on this trip, because I was hunting for a new species of chameleon. There are two chameleons that we know of in, in the forest. One is a small pygmy chameleon, which is, again, possibly a new species, but is locally very common. Wait, wait, wait. Is that its tail? It's, it's no, a baby off there to the, the, the new no, no, wait a second. That's no. not a tail. That's a new species. So this is a, a, a new, probably a new species. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. See that long tail, all wound up. They have these lovely rose coils of a, a kind of a palm, a fern fond tails. Finding new species is uh, very important uh, towards the conservation of Marbu. Uh, the more new species you can find uh, that are only found uh, in Marbu, on, Ma on Mount Marbu and in the, in the forest of Marbu, um, basically uh, all add um, towards uh, the justification for the conservation of this area. Some people take years, um, maybe a lifetime, to found one, find one new species and describe that. Um, as a young scientist, it's it's, it's a dream to find a new species and uh, at the moment being in this place uh, anything can be, be new. It looks like a turtle but it's a fish. This is a new species, this is a freshwater crab which is just found in these mountain streams. Ah, 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 ah which do really like to bite. The trap I just opened on the other side, which was the same size, had 12 crabs in it. Just from one little pool this size. Anyway, bye-bye. Here he goes. Let's see. <laughs> This, this little butterfly here that Martin has just brought in, Martin Hassan has just brought in today, is a completely new butterfly to science. The spots near the base of the wings on the hind wing uh, said this is quite unlike anything else. I suppose every scientist has a eureka moment. That's scientifically, I came up as a scientist with my scientist hat on. This is wow. This is Jeffrey Barbie, reporting for Global Post from the forest of Mount Mabu.